Hello everybody, welcome. On this video, I'm gonna teach you some shortcuts that's gonna make your life very, very easy on Excel and you have your productivity to grow a whole lot. Well, the first thing that you need to know is that uh, most people that are really, really fast in Excel, they do not touch their mouses, okay? They don't do it, they do not touch their mouses. So that's something that you need to, to practice, practice, I'm sorry, practice to to master it okay so the first thing that i want to show you is, the, is this is the following example when i'm when i'm navigating through excel i try to use my my arrows okay but i'm gonna teach you some tricks to do it fast um when i get to, to a cell the first thing that i do if i want to edit this cell this formula i just press f2 okay to enter the cell to get on the edit part of it so you see my cursor blinking here I'm just adding this cell right here, okay? Uh, once I edit, I can press enter to confirm my alterations, or I can just press ask, ask to forget my alterations, okay? So the first thing that I do when I sit on a computer with Excel is to know where the F2 key is at, so I can edit the cells, and if I wanna keep the changes, I press enter. If I don't wanna keep the changes, I press S, okay? So my first shortcut is F2. All right. Uh, the second one is the following. When I'm, when I'm wanna copy some text to a different cell, for example, if I wanna copy this cell here to, uh, this, to another cell, instead of doing right click on the mouse and saying copy and then right click on the mouse and saying paste we're going to use a ctrl c and ctrl v okay so ctrl c i can see that the the content is copied because i can see these little dots running through it then i go to another cell and i press ctrl v to paste okay take a look at your keyboard on the right left side right above your your space bar you see the c and the v so we're going to use this a lot right on the uh, right on the side of it you can see the keys x and z we are also going to use this so from z to v these are very important keys that you're going to use okay so let me do the example one more time i'm gonna press escape to to forget the copy I'm gonna click on the cell, Ctrl C to copy it. I'm going to another cell and I'm gonna Ctrl V to paste. Okay? If I want to uh, cut and paste instead of copy and paste, I would go Ctrl X and then Ctrl V to do this. Okay? So I have Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl X to cut. That's what we're going to use. And if we do something wrong, just press, just press, just press Ctrl Z to undo those changes you see so this line z x c and v they are very very important for you to work it together with your control key uh, let me give you another example sometimes i really i try to do x to do things in excel really, really fast and sometimes like 25 percent of the times they go wrong but I see people that do be, do something wrong in Excel, they go, oh my god, I did something wrong. Don't you worry. If you do something wrong, just press Ctrl Z to undo it, okay? Like this example here, I'm just Ctrl Z undoing what I did, and I'm back to where I started. So, always know that you can press Ctrl Z to undo something that you didn't like it. And this is very, very helpful for you. All right. Um, right here, let me go back to A1 and I'm going to show, show you something. Imagine that I want to go to this cell here, S24, and I'm here on cell A1. I don't want to use the mouse, mouse to go there. So what I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to press Ctrl arrows to navigate through my cells. If he finds, uh, if he finds a, cell, um, a block of content, he's going to navigate all the way till he finds an empty cell. As I hit the cell, he's gonna navigate all the way till he finds a content. Okay, so let me show you. I want to go to this cell here, S24. I'm here on A1. I'm going to press Ctrl down. See, I navigate all of the, the cells contents till I found an empty cell. Then I'm gonna go Ctrl down again, so I navigate the empty cells till I found some contents. Ctrl, Ctrl down again, Ctrl down again, Ctrl down again. Then I'm gonna go Ctrl right, Ctrl right, Ctrl right, and there I am. 
So I did not uh, use my mouse. I just press control and down, down, down till I reach a point that I liked. And then right, right, right till I reach a point that I liked. If you sometimes do like this, and if you go like this, and you go all the way to the end of Excel, don't you worry. You can press control up, and there you go. We go up again. And if you go all the way to the right, like this, I went right back to the, the last column. Don't you worry again. Control left to go back to the columns that you were. So I always like to navigate using the, the my arrows and the control key so I can do it faster. Let me show you if I an example that I want you to go to this cell here, which is SA1. If I want to go to this cell, I would from A1, I would click control right, 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 and there I am. And if I want to go to S7, control down. And if I want to go to S15, control down, control down. You see? So this is how you easily navigate on your Excel spreadsheet. If you want to go straight to the beginning, you can also press control hunt and you go to A1. And if you want to go to the last cell that you use in Excel, the last cell, I mean down and right, you can press control and and you go straight to the last cell. So control uh, up and down, left and right, home and end is going to help you a lot, okay? Uh, another thing that I want to teach you, if you want to select cells, so let's go back to A1, and if I want to select a block of contents, I can go control shift down and right, and if I want to make this content bigger, I can go down again and right again, and down again and there you go i select all my contents and if i want to reduce this contents, i can keep pressing shifts and go one less column one less line rows and select the content that i want so this is very important when selecting a block of cell like this for example i can click ctrl shift down right and i just got the block of contents and if i'm here ctrl shift down right or maybe i can go right and down and I select this block of contents, you know? So this is a very useful way to select a block of contents. And if, if you wanna make it a little bit bigger, a little bit more smaller, just release control, get it, keep pressing shift and go uh, left to right, up and down to increase or decrease your selection. And this is all doing without your mouse, without pushing your mouse. All right. Another way or another shortcut that's very, very helpful, it's going to be Control F because it's going to find something. So I'm going to go Control F, Excel is going to use, never mind it. Then I'm going to type what I want to search, like uh, Excel, and I want to search next, search next, and I'm searching all my Excel files here. And when I'm through, when I found the one that I want, I just press Ask and I'm there. I'm already selecting this cell here. So this is a very useful way. If you want to do replacements, I believe it's Control R. I'm not sure what's the shortcut in English. I gotta check this for you. I'm gonna write on the comments. But find and Control. Control finds. Oops. Control finds and Control uh, replace that I don't know what the shortcut of this is that is what because this Excel is Portuguese so it's kind of messing up my my view but control F is really, really important and control replace I think the shortcut is R is two all right next one the next thing that I'm gonna teach you is how to navigate on your ribbons if you press Alt you're gonna see this little um, that's here that's gonna help. For example, A for, for file, it's F for the file in your example, please. I have C for initial panel, I have B for page layout, I have U for formulas, I have S for data, but you need to check on your Excel in English because my Excel is in Portuguese, okay? So let me do a quick, quick example for you to, to know how to work with this. Imagine if I want, I have this, this formula here, 2 plus 2, and I want to copy it, but I just want to copy the values, okay? I don't want to copy the formula. The formula. So I'm going to go from A1. I would go Control down, Control down, 2 right. Then I'm going to Control C to copy it. I'm going to go to my, my decimal cell, and then I will do like this, out, then I'm going to say, initial page, then I'm going to go V for paste, 
and then I'm gonna call V again to paste values right here and that's what I did you see I did not touch my mouse and I could navigate without and then I could go C V and V again to paste a value so that's what you need to be, to be doing from now on if you want to get faster on Excel imagine if I want to do some operation with data so I would go over here alt then S for data and then I could go filter with F you know controls each one do it so this is how you work with the shortcuts another shortcut that I find very useful useful is to navigate through our sheets so I'm gonna make some new sheets here to make your life a little bit easier I'm sorry I should have done this before so control shift up I'm going to plan two plan one and control shift down I'm going all the way to my sheets to the right okay so this is a very useful shortcut also to be fast at Excel um, I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe my channels on YouTube and my site learnmacrosnow.com to learn how to work fast with macros for Excel I was a little bit rusty because I was working for my network and used to work on my desktop but I figured it out and if you have any doubts please go to my website go to just this on uh, this message down below comments and ask something and I'll be happy to make a video for you thank you very much see you next time